back. We're not really sure what it is, but it's back. Now I I do know what it is, and now I've forgotten the name. I there was a whole article about the dang thing. It was built in the 80s. It's been around for a long time. Come on. I'm going to have to look it up now. I can't believe I can't remember it. But it's back. Well, the thing's hysterical. And it That's a nice finish right there. Oh, they got that at Whole Foods. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I don't know. They get the rods out. <laughs> well, <laughs> that'd be the greatest deke of all time. Salmon, cut that bad boy up. Yeah, I'm in on that. He's got a price tag on it. Have me for dinner. We have that McCovey Cove tilapia every Friday night here. Yeah. <laughs> Press room loves it. In the dirt, two and two. Yeah, I can't hang with the tilapia. I know, I know. You're not a tilapia guy, but when it comes from right here in the cove, you got to at least give it a shot. Yeah, if you invite me for dinner and you have eggplant and tilapia, I'm going to fake like I'm sick and have to go home. The Fuelers' choice bunt that knocked in a run in the second. Well, that's a good looking hat. Trying to find the joy in her face. Is it there? Well, if you had a blanket for her, I think. You might see a little more. No, I think she also said it. You're re you're really going to put that on your head. <laughs> well, she was supposed to be sitting next to him. He put that on his head. She chose to take the front seat. He might have even said to her, "Well, I made one for you. Are you going to wear yours?" How <laughs> uh, about if I just make a sign that says, "Happy 85th to Willie Mays." Oh yeah, she's on board. You gotta have a good, good attitude just to get on that thing, or in that thing. Well, not in the inning. Six strikeouts for Bumgarner. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, they're the couple of the year. <laughs> Woohoo! Time now for our San Diego fans of the game. <laughs> Here he goes. Are they really fans of the game? <laughs> Are they even here? <laughs> well, we little license today. Yeah. Couldn't get in. It was sold out. What a great way to spend the afternoon. Field fence where not only can you take a kayak out, but tonight, guys, you can apparently go get yourself a hot dog out on a McCovey Cove. You just paddle over to the floating hot dog stand and get them any way you want. What do you say, Cracky? Cinco de Mayo, they're giving out hot dogs. <laughs> I got it. That makes sense. You want to try one of those kayaks? I Go out there I and would try one of those hot dogs. Yeah. I'm not sure that that would hold me. No. I'd be afraid if it tipped over. How would you get out? We'd have some backup for you. We'd take care oh, of yeah. it. We, we wouldn't send you out there alone. What, like a lifeguard or something? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, David Hasselhoff? Maybe a, maybe a whole crew. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, don't get me. He could sink to me too while we're out there. AJ Ellis rips the ball to deep left field. It's a spectacle. 11 man crews and just those little blades. That's it. That's all that's in the water. And this is a one man crew before the game. <laughs> well, what does that do? Uh, well, it lights up. Oh, about that, huh? Hey, Dr. Emmett Brown in the. The DeLorean from uh, Back to the Future. The flux capacitor is fluxing. You got the plutonium. Boy, if you're having trouble picking up girls, just, you know. <laughs> that <laughs> is pretty cool. <laughs> that is great. Changes for the Padres. Fuentes goes into center field. Brad Brock is the new pitcher. DeNorthia replaces Venable in right field. Venable out of the game. So Brad Brock goes to work here in the last of the seventh. Tops never know what you're going to see. We never, and some things you never would even dream of seeing. Oh my goodness. I mean, 
There, there are a few times when I'd rather see what's going on outside the park than inside the park. He's starting to get a little lift. This looks like it's like James Bond like. Well, he wants to get a free look at the game maybe. That's a base hit to left field. First hit of the night. Chario is aboard. So he get closer and then he can get up above the Willie Mays wall out there. If he gets high enough to watch the game I'm going to be really impressed. He's, he's getting up there. Yeah, not quite though. Come on. Almost there. <laughs> it's cracking me up I got to <laughs> tell you. Right. Two and two to. Cody Ashy. He's got his party hat on. So you're thinking the ratio is not very good. No. Well, unless you're one of the, the gals out there, you got to be pretty psyched. What happened? Oh, is this the two man dance? Yes, yeah, the two man celebration. <laughs> the Montefusco Gary Alexander dance. You know what they're doing? They're just practicing for when everybody else shows up. They realize the odds are not in their favor tonight. <laughs> Oh, mom and dad are watching. Hey, Jeff, fun last night. Oh, yeah, we danced all night. Teacher <laughs> <laughs> holds on deck. Just kind of hanging out in the cove. That's a pretty good seat. Uh, what's going on out in the cove? Well, I strap on your kayak and let's have a barbecue. What do you say? So one guy brings. The barbecue, the other guy brings the beer. Two and two. Uh, those are industrial kayaks right there. They kind of do it all, don't they? Although I don't think they're going to cook on that. That's just to keep them warm. That's a pretty good block. <laughs> pretty good flame going with no kindling. Two two pitch. Well, the renegades are making their way into McCovey Cove. All dressed up and ready for action tonight here in San Francisco. And the Giants taking the field led by pitcher Chris Heston. Heston making his 11th start of the season. Well, meanwhile, out of the cove. Whoa -ho! I saw Kevin Skillings do that in spring training. 1986. Yeah. Yeah. At the old Sheridan Plaza. Remember the Sheridan? I do. It was a good place. Yeah. And they, I think, after that one died by Kevin, the Giants never went back. They asked us to leave. That was it.